been looking in closer detail at the shocking events of early on Saturday morning. You can see people dancing at the Nova Music Festival with no inkling of the horror that's about to unfold. BBC Verify has established that this was taken at sunrise on Saturday. And it's all happening just very, very close to the border between Israel and Gaza. The first sign that anything was wrong came around seven in the morning. And if we look at that video again, you can see that there's a man who is looking up into the sky. He's seen something. Now, we don't know exactly what he's looking at, but there are suggestions it could be small explosions from Israeli air defences trying to neutralise a barrage of incoming rocket fire. Then we have this. It was posted at 9.30 in the morning local time, and it seems to show security at the event, trying to get people to leave as quickly as possible. And then here you get a sense of the panic the fear the urgency as people flee for their lives through the fields next i want to show you some distressing footage from the dash cam of a car parked at the edge of the festival site we know it's filmed just before nine in the morning and you see this gunman taking a young man who appears to have been wounded it goes on to show a man sheltering under the car and you see him being shot and then there's another video apparently taken by Palestinians who are either part of the attack or accompanying the attackers. And it's come to encapsulate the absolute terror of what happened. So she's Noah Agamani, she's 25 years old. She'd been at the festival and she is pleading for her life as she's kidnapped along with her boyfriend. The Reuters news agency spoke to her friend Amit who'd been messaging her until just before she was captured. Terrorized. It's, uh, I don't think everyone ever has felt such terror and such helplessness when you're, you, you're taken away from your boyfriend, from your loved ones to, to some place unknown with terrorists. And I can't, I can't imagine what she's going through right now, traveling with those terrorists in Gaza, waiting for someone to, to send help. We don't yet know exactly how many people were kidnapped from the festival or killed. But this is drone footage. And you can imagine looking forward to a weekend of music and dancing, never in their worst nightmares, imagining what was to come. Caroline Hawley, let me take you back to the live pictures because uh, as has been the case throughout the course of today's program, we have seen uh, so many explosions there in Gaza, even uh, since the start of this program in the last uh, two and a half hours, but that has been the continued pattern through the course of today with Israel continuing to target uh, various sites in the Gaza Strip, uh, their military action against a whole variety of Hamas targets and of course that alongside the cutting off of the Gaza Strip, that announcement from the Defence Minister a little earlier that uh, the whole of the Gaza Strip uh, would be cut off. No food, no power, no water. So uh, that uh, just part of what Israel implementing in the wake of those dreadful scenes through the course of the weekend. Well, 